The date diff function is useful to calculate an interval or difference between two dates. In this video, I'll go over the structure of the date diff function and also the common errors in using the start and end dates and the different ways to switch the intervals from days to months or years. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. The nice thing with this is if I open up the sheet in a few days or a few weeks, the formula will automatically calculate the number for me and it'll just keep changing depending on the day that I'm viewing the spreadsheet. A more important use of this formula would probably be to calculate, for example, my anniversary. So I just change the first parameter to be my anniversary date and then Cal can do the calculation for me. That way, I always know how to answer the question, especially in front of my wife. But obviously, people don't want to know how many days it's been. They want to know how many years. So that leads me to the next sheet. Here, I'll discuss over the six different intervals we can use and also this common error that we get due to the date format. So here is the LibreOffice help page for date diff and it kind of goes over the functions structure and the different parameters it takes. Down here, there's a pin note that gives us a warning regarding slashes or dates. And it would much rather I use the date function to designate the date. And I can potentially use ISO format, which is year, month, date using dashes. I really doesn't like it if I use slash like this with the month, day, and year. Now going on down, there's a little tip regarding using the ISO date format. And if I get the value error, and then down here, it gives us the six different interval types, which I'll discuss more. Also gives us some examples and expected values. And lastly, there's a lot more related date functions that we could take a look at. So back to my sheet. In my examples, I'll use a start date of April 15 and the end date of May 15, 2024. So the error that happens is when I'm using the wrong date format. I'm using dashes here in my dates. And of course, Calc doesn't recognize this as date at all. So that's why I'm getting an error. The fix for that is to use the date function like it suggested. And now it gives me the right calculation. Here in cell B7, I'm just referring to cell B3 as my start date and cell C3 as my end date. And I'm using an interval of D in double quotations. So this tells me how many days it's been between the start and end date. For the interval of M, it'll give me the number of months in between. And as you can guess, for Y, it'll give us the year difference. Now for the last three options, I included here a screenshot from the help page. The YM will give us the months, but removing the year from the dates. So here it's just saying what's the difference between April and May and it's one month. For MD, it gives us days and I'll subtract years and months from the calculation. So here it's looking at basically from the 15th of the month to the 15th of the month. And that's why we see zero. And for YD, it's giving us days, but ignoring the year from it. So it's the same thing as if I change as my start date from April 15, 2024. The whole point of this interval value and the other two here is that I don't have to manipulate my start date or the end date to get me the calculation. There are use cases where this would be useful. It just depends on your data set and what you're trying to show in your spreadsheet. So I recommend you to try it on your own and use different dates, months, or years. If you do have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will include some helpful information and links in the video description below. And I recommend you to watch my other video on a simple way to calculate date differences by using the plus or minus instead of a function. Thanks for watching until the end. And as always, stay nifty.